Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and let's talk about episodes 3 and 4 of the Pokemon Legends Arceus arc of Pokemon Journeys which aired on Amazon Prime Japan today. It is the finale for this arc, and Ash and the others are trying to save Heatran which has gone berserk, and Team Galactic is also uh, they're trying to stop them and try to bring their leader Cyrus back, and all kinds of other stuff going on within these episodes. So how were the episodes overall? Well, before I get into the actual review, just a few things. Just remember that subs are not out at this time, so there's not a whole lot of context as to what everyone's saying, so I'm not really going to go really deep into the review and what everyone's saying. This is going to be more of a basic review of these episodes. And also, if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It'd be pretty awesome if you would do that. So starting with episode 3, this episode is pretty self-explanatory. So Heatran is still rampaging, and Team Galactic are stopping Ash and the others. They explain their whole plan, and Ash go and dawn battle against them. Eventually Brock tells them to go ahead and try to stop Heatran, and he'll take him on himself. Literally Brock takes on the Team Galactic members, including three captains, by himself with his Blissey and his Krogon. That's Brock for you. Now an interesting note, as I watched the subs for episode 1 and 2, when the Lake Trio and Arceus appeared in front of Ash, Go, and Dawn earlier, they were trying to tell them something, and the Lake Trio once again appeared to Ash, Go, and Dawn. And it's revealed that Heatran is actually not rampaging on its own accord. It's actually trapped within itself, and whatever is taken over it, like this rampaging monster that's, uh, I guess, possessed by the Arceus plate, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but anyways, uh, Heatran's actually trapped within this thingy, whatever it is. It's really hard to describe. So, uh, that gives, uh, Ash and the others a hint that, yeah, Heatran's in trouble. So that's why they're going out to try and save Heatran. Now, Ash and the others' initial plan is to stop Heatran by cooling it off. So, Go takes out Inteleon, Dawn has Pipluff, and then Ash takes out Dracovich, and they all fire a water attack on Heatran, and the Lake Trio help them out in order to basically centralize into one big like water ball to hit Heatran. Unfortunately it doesn't work and he's still rampaging on. Meanwhile Brock is still facing off against the Team Galactic Commanders, and that's when Cynthia shows up with her Garchomp and helps out. It looks like uh, Cynthia here is actually communicating with Officer Jenny who's in a helicopter who is actually waiting to apprehend Team Galactic, so Cynthia is basically tasked with taking them out and then handing them over to Officer Jenny later on. Cynthia then sends out her Garchomp to go assist Ash and also tells Brock to do the same while she stays behind and handles Team Galactic, along with Brock's Blissey and Krogonk, which she commands, alongside her Roserade, which was revealed. I don't believe that was ever revealed before, so I think this is the first time we know that she has a Roserade on her team, which is pretty cool. Anyways, Cynthia faces off against Team Galactic as Brock heads out to assist Ash. So with Brock taking out his Steelix, they formulate a plan to basically trap Heatran so it doesn't move anymore, or traverse anymore I should say. So Brock takes out his Steelix, and Dawn takes out Mamoswine, Ash commands Pikachu, and then Garchomp all basically work together to try and sink the ground underneath Heatran to basically trap it. Unfortunately this doesn't work and Heatran actually just continues to grow even larger. This monstrosity it's become is now like... It's funny, after getting hit with the water and then being sunk in the ground, it just caused it to just grow even more massive. And it's heading towards the Sphere Pillar. And that universe that Cyrus is in, yeah, it's basically breaking out and coming out of that wormhole, I guess you could call it, or just coming out of the wormhole in the sky. <laughs> and um, Team Galactic uses this opportunity and actually managed to get away from Cynthia and they get into their helicopter to take off. And the episode pretty much comes to an end with this universe uh, coming out of the sky. Arceus shows up and starts basically blasting everything with a bunch of lasers. Now moving on to episode 4. So one of those lasers that Arceus shoots off manages to hit Team Galactic's helicopter and shoots them out of the sky. They manage to escape by parachuting, but Cynthia's Roserade traps them and that's pretty much it for them for the rest of the episode. They're pretty much trapped. With Team Galactic taken care of, Arceus actually starts to fix things in the sky, so it's not looking like everything's falling apart. 
but Arceus actually takes out one of his Arceus plates. It seems like he has everyone but the one that's within Heatran. And it uses an, a water plate in order to use Judgment on the giant Heatran, seemingly to destroy it, but from what I could tell, it seems like Ash and the others tried to convince Arceus not to do this since Heatran is in trouble and stuck within that thing. So they need to try and figure out a way to save Heatran. So this is where things get pretty interesting. So Arceus does indeed use Judgment, but doesn't use it to destroy the monstrous Heatran, but instead frees it in place, giving Ash and the others time to save Heatran. So the Lake Trio, using their psychic abilities, allow Ash, Go, Dawn, and their Pokemon to levitate, and they all basically head into the monstrous Heatran. Using their Pokemon, they manage to break through. And after some struggle, they manage to rescue Heatran. There's actually an interesting moment as they're escaping, as they don't really have that much time. It seems like they gotta escape really fast, but Heatran actually falls back behind. It seems like it's done for. But Ash and the others and their Pokemon actually go behind Heatran and actually help move it out of the water barrier that Arceus created, and they manage to rescue Heatran. And then the monstrous Heatran statue that basically took over it is frozen in place. And Arceus gets his missing plate back. With Heatran saved, Arceus decides to take off. But before he leaves, Saturn actually calls out the Arceus. Since I don't have subs, I don't know exactly what he's saying. But from what I can tell, he's calling out to Arceus, probably frustrated that his plans have been foiled. Probably trying to get Cyrus back. But Arceus literally looks at him like with this look that he's going to smite him any second. Like, dude, I'm God. You messed with all this stuff. You disturbed my slumber. Screw you. I'm not giving your boss back. I'm just peacing out. And yeah, that's all you get. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm curious to see uh, what Saturn was saying when the subs come out. But yep, Arceus takes off. Brock simps for Cynthia. And then gets poison jabbed by uh, Krogong and dragged away. Just like the old days. But this episode has an interesting conclusion. It actually concludes with the protagonist, the male protagonist, from the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. And he's traveling around the Hisui region with Rowlet, Oshawa, and Cyndaquil. And that pretty much brings this special to a close. So I gotta say, I really enjoyed these episodes and this arc as a whole. Besides some pacing issues and some other minor things here and there, I think that this arc was very well done in my opinion. It was very enjoyable from the beginning to the end. It really flowed really well. I liked a lot of the continuity nods throughout this arc. It was really nice. We have Ash and Dawn doing the high five. You know, Brock's gag with Cynthia. Team Galactic searching for Cyrus and trying to carry on his will. All of that is great, and I just loved it. Now, is it just me, or is the finale for this arc very similar to the finale of the Team Flare arc in Pokemon X, Y, and Z? In that they all work together to rescue a Pokemon that was trapped within basically a giant statue or monster or whatever you want to call it. Like in X, Y, and Z, that giant rock that was heading towards Anastar City. The sundial there and it made it there would have completely wiped out the world. Similar to here, Heatran turned into that monstrosity and was attacking the sky and trying to bring out Cyrus's world that he went out into. Which could have had some uh, catastrophic uh, consequences. Potential catastrophic consequences at that and they eventually had to all work together to save Heatran it's kind of similar in, in a good way because uh, the Team Flare arc is one of the best arcs within Pokemon X, Y, and Z and actually one of my favorite villain arcs within Pokemon in general so to be compared to that is a good thing but I have to say overall I think that this is my favorite arc in Journeys it's not part of the actual main series it's a special which kind of sucks, but you know what? I'll take it. This is definitely better than the Diamond and Pearl special we got back in December, which was a letdown in my opinion. Compared to this, which delivered, four episodes definitely was the right amount of episodes for this arc. And I just think that it worked out really well. I thoroughly enjoyed these episodes. I thought they were great. The only thing that I really had a complaint about was the fact that Gahar wasn't present here, which was kind of odd considering her friendship with Dawn. But it would be hard to juggle five characters having, you know, Ash, Go, Kaharu, Dawn, and Brock. And I think Brock was an appropriate character here. I 
he worked really well for these episodes. It was nice to see him again. So, besides that, I really have no complaints for this arc. I think it's excellent overall. And with that all said, I'm going to bring this review to a close. Overall, I enjoyed these episodes. I'd give episode 3 an 8.5 out of 10. And I'd give the last episode a solid 9 out of 10. I'd say this arc is like a an 8 or 9 out of 10 overall. I very much enjoyed these episodes. And yeah. <laughs> so, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Did you like this arc? Do you like these episodes? Do you have any issues with these episodes? I'd just like to hear your general thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And have a great day or night wherever you're at. I'll see you all later. Bye.